Hello everyone. I hope you guys are doing well. And in today's lecture, I am going to discuss marine pollution, nuclear pollution, thermal pollution, and waste management. So starting with the marine pollution. Marine pollution is caused due to the sewage sludge, industrial fluents, detergents, solid waste, and plastic, which is being dumped into the oceans and sea. Sources of marine pollution can be rivers, which brings pollutants from drainage basin and catchment areas, such as human settlements, and oil drilling and shipments. as we know that every year large amount of crude oil is shipped from some oil producing countries to other parts of the world right and during the transportation of this oil this crude oil sometimes because of leakage this crude oil reaches to the surface of ocean or sea right and as you know that oil is having lower density than the water it spreads over the surface of water right and it looks like this picture right in this picture you can see there is a layer of oil over the surface of water and this types of this type of accidents are called as oil spills right so oil spills are also the cause of marine pollution what can be the effects of marine pollution on aquatic ecosystem or on marine ecosystem fishes can show mortality oil which disrupts and it disrupts the insulating capacity of feathers and due to loss of buoyancy and subsequent drowning of birds it can cause death of marine birds right how we can control this marine pollution so effluents should not be discharged directly into the oceans or sea before discharging it should be treated strict enforcement of laws and regulations regarding drilling in eco sensitive zones dumping of toxic waste and hazardous waste by minimizing developmental activities on the shore as you know there are so many industrial operations and oil drilling operations are going on in the offshore areas maintenance of coastal regulation zones right so these can be the possible control measures of marine pollution now coming to the thermal pollution thermal pollution is caused by excess heat excess heat is present in what presence of waste heat in the water which can cause undesirable changes in the natural environment what can be the causes of this thermal pollution heat which are which is being produced by the industries right or we can say there are some industries which are using uh, flowing water for uh, industrial purpose and that uh, water or heated water is being discharged into the rivers or flowing water right and it causes the thermal pollution in the river second cause can be the power plants which are utilizing only one third energy produced by the fossil fuels and rest is wasted as heat right 
it may be a coal fired power plant and also in the hydro power plants cold water is taken from the water body for cooling used and left into the water body back with increased temperature of 10 to 15 degrees celsius right this is a large range okay agar water ka temperature 1 se 2 degree celsius bhi badh jata hai then it can affect the it can affect the aquatic ecology and thermal pollution increases the temperature of flowing water bodies or water in the rivers by 10 to 15 degree celsius right so it can cause severe damages to the aquatic ecosystem let's see what are the possible effects of thermal pollution first of all oxygen penetration decreases dissolved oxygen also reduces as the solubility is decreases as you know that solubility of gases in water is inversely proportional to the temperature and as the temperature of liquid increases solubility of a gas in into the liquid will decrease right so jaise hi water ka temperature badhega oxygen ka jo dissolution hai water mein aur solubility hai it will decrease so we can say that increased temperature of water or thermal pollution can lead to the hypoxia right hypoxia kya hota hai it is a situation in which dissolved oxygen decreases right and because of lack of oxygen the aquatic organisms when they can die so heat kills fishes and other aquatic life iske alawa some heat can also be produced by the degradation of organic material or some pesticides and chemicals so toxicity of pesticides and chemicals also increases with increase in the temperature metabolic activities increases at a high temperature and requiring more oxygen spawning of uh, fish eggs is dis disturbed because of this increased temperature fish migration also affected so overall it will affect the lives of fishes actually fishes are stenothermal organism there are two types of uh, temperature sensitivities found in the organisms there are stenothermal organisms and eurythermal organisms stenothermal organisms are very sensitive towards the temperature change right so the fluctuations in temperature can cause severe damages to the fish population composition of fauna and flora can change because of change in temperature of a water body and temperature tolerant species will start developing right as i told you you tot temperature sensitive species hongi unki population decline karegi and temperature tolerant species ki population hi survive karegi if this condition continues right in this picture you can see how we can control thermal pollution so uh, thermal pollution ko rokne ke liye uh, jo bhi what uh, jo power plants hai ya hydro power plants hai jahan pe uh, water ka use kiya jata hai and uh, heated water wahan pe present hota hai so uh, before discharging that heated water into the main water body main stream we can make cooling ponds right cooling towers and spray ponds the water ka jo temperature hai wo kam ho sakta hai and then we can discharge this water into the main water body right this is how thermal pollution can be controlled the next topic is noise pollution so what is noise any unwanted and unbearable sound we can say noise unpleasant sound any unpleasant sound is known as noise a sound can be pleasant for one human being and at the same time it can be unpleasant for other human being right and the situations in the surroundings also matters right for example 
sound from a loud speaker or from the loud music can be pleasant for one person which is in good mood and it can be unpleasant for other person which is sick or for a student right so unpleasant sound is known as noise sound is a uh, kind of wave and it travels in form of pressure waves through the air solid and liquids the measuring unit of sound is decibel sound is, uh, sorry noise is maximum in uh, during diwali ganpati and other festivals it is higher in industrial areas and it can vary from 80 to 120 decibel in industrial areas crackers can produce a noise up to 125 decibel and at construction sites it can reach up to 100 decibel right what can be the effects and sources of noise pollution so let's see uh, the sources first so sources can be transportation heavy machinery construction activities celebration and household appliances what can be the effects of noise pollution so effects can be physiological and psychological changes it also interferes communication can cause hearing damages and sleep disturbance right coming to the noise standards noise ke kya kya standards hain so standards are different in different areas for example in industrial area during the day time the limit is permissible limit is 75 decibel and during the night time is 70 decibel similarly in commercial area it is 65 decibel during the day and 55 decibel in night in residential area 55 decibel in day and 45 decibel in night in silence zone it is 50 decibel and 40 decibel day and night respectively night 10 pm se leke 6 am tak loud noise ban hai theek hai especially in the urban areas how we can control noise pollution so first of all reduction at the source then proper maintenance of machineries which can produce noise and machineries should be covered if machines should be covered then they can uh, it will produce less noise or less sound use of sound absorbing silencers especially in the vehicles and we can also control it through law making laws and regulations strict and also by implementing them strictly then planting more and more broad leaves right it is uh, suppose that uh, leaves or trees can absorb some amount of noise right so planting trees or making green corridors can help in reducing noise now coming to the next topic which is nuclear or radioactive hazard nuclear or radioactive hazard what will be the sources the nuclear power plants right so nuclear power plants can be the source of nuclear or radioactive hazard so natural radioactive decay of radioactive elements also causes this uh, this type of pollution nuclear pollution natural radioactive decay give out fast moving particles and high energy radiations such as alpha and beta particles so radioactive uh, elements can be present in environment because of nuclear accidents test laboratories and radioactive fallouts uh, such accidents have happened in past like fukushima in japan happened in 
during the tsunami and similarly one more accident happened in uh, ukraine right what can be the effects of uh, nuclear pollution so these nuclear radiations can cause genetic damage such as dna alterations gene damage and chromosome damage it can also cause somatic damages like burns miscarriages eye cataract cancers of skin bone and breast how we can control nuclear pollution by proper siting and proper disposal so nuclear waste should be disposed very safely at safe site right this is about the nuclear or radioactive pollution now coming to the soil pollution soil is upper layer of earth crust contains organic matter which is fertile and dumping of waste can cause soil pollution like garbage rubbish like glass plastic metallic cans papers cloth rags and containers also discharge from the industry industrial waste can pollute soil fly ashes from thermal power plants also excess soil pollutants similarly fertilizers and pesticides which are being used in the soil for increased production and pest resistance also causes soil pollution like ddt and linden seawood sludge and radioactive waste is also responsible for the soil pollution so all these are the causes of soil pollution right what can be the effects and how we can control soil pollution so one effect of soil pollution can be it reduces soil productivity it affects soil flora and fauna sludge which contains worms bacteria and pathogens radioactive waste enters into the food chain like estroncium which mimics calcium how we can control this soil pollution so first of all we should uh, discharge all the sewage and sludge before uh, after the treatment right and uh, we can also convert this this waste to biogas and fuel and then recover from the soil so, uh, for example there are few heavy metals which can be recovered from the soil with the help of some microorganisms like bacteria right and this technique is known as bioremediation so this is how we can control soil pollution so this is all about today's lecture thank you very much for listening